Hello, good morning students. Welcome to the series of experiments in physics presented by Mobile Science Lab. Today, I am going to do an experiment which is really interesting. When TV is switched on, when you go near the TV screen, you would see that your hairs will stand up. And in winter, when you take out your woolen clothes, you must have observed some chit chit sound and some sort of uh, sparks like thing. These things are all simply because of the static electric charges produced. In this particular experiment, we are trying to find out what are all the products which can be used to generate static charges and know the behavior of those charges. One should bear in mind these charges are going to play havoc in the electronic processing industry. In, it is very much essential to get rid of these charges to avoid the unnecessary losses. It is very much essential to know the materials by which we can generate static charges. The apparatus required are the straws and this is a perspex rod. This is the polishing cloth which I am going to use to generate static charges. So using plastic paper to generate the charges. This is the water bottle. The purpose of this water bottle is only to balance the straws on it and then study the behavior of the charges produced. To begin with, let us see whether I am balancing this straw on the water bottle and then bringing this straw nearby. Do you see any effect? There is no effect at all. Now I am taking this polishing cloth, rubbing the straws with the help of polishing cloth and then see what happens. A funny thing is going to happen now. See now, what's happening? What do you observe, kids? It is behaving differently when compared to the earlier situation, isn't it? What is happening here? When I bring this straw near to this, this straw is going away from that. That means there are some charges developed in these two straws and if you ask me exactly what type of charges, I don't have any answer for that. But I can say definitely the charges produced in these two straws by rubbing the polishing cloth are of the same nature. That means if you think that they are of negative charges, in both, uh, both the straws, negative charges are there. Because of that reason, when I bring this near to this, you know, they ripple. Because like charges ripple, like charges ripple and unlike charges attract. This is the uh, normal uh, property in the case of magnetism. After having observed this, See now, even now, the charges are still there. Let us try to use some other material and then check whether the behavior is going to be the same or not. For this, I will take out one of these straws and then I am using a combination of perspex rod and a straw. 
This is the Perspex rod and straw. I am using the same polishing cloth. See now, now this straw is attracted towards the perfect rod. That means the charges produced in these two rods by the same material. When I rub the polishing cloth with perfect rod and straw, the charges produced in these two materials are different. Why? Because the materials are different and in one of them, if it is a positive one, in the negative, in the other one, it is negative because of the fact that they are of different nature or rather they are opposite to each other, they keep on attracting. See now, it is being attracted. You can also see from the other end. The same experiment can be done using the plastic cover and then check the difference. This is a very simple experiment. See now, the rotation is at vigorous rate. When I rub the straws with plastic paper, more charges are generated, more, generous, more charges are passed on from plastic paper to the straw and you can see that it is moving with more speed. This way, we can test different materials and then find out whether those materials can pass on the charges from one body to the other so that we can take care of them if they are not really required. And uh, I was talking about the expenditure involved in this experiment. In fact, you don't need any expenditure. Every kid must have had cold drink at one time or the other. So the cold, along with the cold drinks, straws are given. You can take a water bottle. In, in any type of cloth can be used, preferably woolen cloth or polishing cloth can be used and then you can perform your experiment and enjoy. So have you enjoyed children? Thank you very much.